time to focus our energy for the week. Come on in, join me. This is Terri Ann Hyman with the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook and Natural Forces Studio. Come on in. It's time to really focus our energy for the week. Open up to what we're doing. It's October. What is the focus for October? And where is your energy right now? So come on in. Join me as we bring this group together. Come on in. Say hello. Let's take a few moments and align our energy coming into center. Noticing where we are right now. Where are you? Where is your spirit? Where is your energy? As we move through the transition into fall, are you on track? Are you kind of off kilter? Where are you? Comment below. Let me know what you're doing and how you're feeling. Hey, Millie, I see you. Come on in. First one to join me. Thank you so much. Your house is coming along just great. All right. So if you're just coming in, say hello. And just notice. Notice as we start out this energy focus of where your energy is right now. Are you feeling on track? All right. Are you able to focus? Are you caught in all the drama? That's what we're going to be talking about. All right. Where are you right now? So come on in and join me as we open up to this energy. We'll choose some cards. We'll do a meditation. Come on in and say hello. So much to talk about, right? Let's just take a moment and really ground. Yes, it's been a really amazing weekend. We were here this weekend with Taylor Hunt teaching all of us ashtangis. It was really awesome. I am tired too, Millie. Yes, I can't wait for my hot bath this evening, but what a great weekend we had learning with him. The weather shifted here in Birmingham. Felt really great this morning. So come on in and join me. Let me know where you are. How are you feeling? Are you able to move forward with this fall energy or is it really getting in your way? Comment below and let me know. And as you comment below, hit the share button, all right? Share and share with somebody else that you know may need a little bit of energy focusing for the week. All right, invite them into the Facebook Live and then come on over and join my Empowered Spirit Circle as well. It's a great place to get some more support, some more understanding of what metaphysical energy is all about and how to even connect with your spirit. Looking for it right now on Facebook so I can share it as well and you do the same before we jump into the energy of what October is all about for us. All right, I see it in one place. I'm not seeing it anywhere else. How about you guys? So just hit share, join me. Here we go. I'm finding it now. It's coming up. Going to share so that we can open up to what this week is all about. Maybe you'll be able to understand a little bit better about where your energy is as well. And join us. All right. Hello, Rhonda. How are you? How's everything down at that wine and dine and twine and wine? What is it? I love all the work that you're doing over there. So let me just do a few more shares here and we get this going and then I can focus in on what we have to offer for this week. Right now coming up as we move into October. October's a really great month. Lots of things going on. Lots of energy all over the place. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about is where are we with all of this energy? Where are we opening up and where are we in the drama. Hey, Kendall, how are you? So just ask yourself right now, where are you with your own energy? Are you caught in the drama? Hit drama below if you are. Or if you're able to really find a way to go into your spirit and release that excess energy that is all around, which is it for you? Drama or excess energy? Or are you grounding? Are you finding that you're able to open up and be on your path. That's what we really want to be right now as we move into this fall energy. You know, fall. Hold on, last one. Whoops, there we go. All right, yay. So fall is time of like, especially in October, we feel refreshed, we feel new, right? We've got that back to school energy, sharpened pencils, all that kind of stuff. It's a little different than, than the spring, right? Because the spring is all that fresh new energy, but yet there is a sense of renewal in fall. So the thing that we want to do for fall is really notice. Notice where you're harvesting your work right now, all right? It's the, it's the last quarter of the year. Notice what's been working. 
Notice the places that are really working well and working good for you. And we want to harvest that energy. We want to offer gratitude. And then we want to kind of refresh it and put it out again. That's what we want to do. We don't really want to start anything brand new, but we want to refresh what we've been doing, what's been working, and put that out into the universe. And then we want to release the rest. We don't want it. We want to know the lessons. Lessons are always good, but it's kind of like the leaves that we burn away. We want to just burn it away. We want to let that stuff go. And that's really where we start to see the energy of of coming in all right hey Trudy that's where we start to see that energy of coming in the spring and the summer we're out there with our spirit the fall and the winter is when we start to bring that energy within our own self and that's what we start to do right now it's been really easy to get caught in the drama there's so much going on the drama makes us lose our focus all right and a lot of us like that right we like that adrenal buzz we like to run on it but it also creates that adrenal burnout all right, which is it for you, adrenal buzz, adrenal burnout, or can you really find a way to calm your energy, to start to pull it inward and feel that strength, all right? And that's the that's our meditation we're going to do this evening, is really bringing it in and burning away all that chatter of the mind and all that everybody else's voices and all that victim energy that we can find ourselves sometimes caught in as we move into the new season, that shift in seasons, all right? This week, this week, we're going to kind of start out nice and easy. It's not going to be as intense tomorrow and Tuesday. It's going to be kind of a nice, upbeat lift of energy. All right, so find that self for you. Find that productive energy. Just kind of stay in that flow. Now, the energy will build but as we get to Thursday. We have a new moon, a full moon. Sorry, we have a full moon coming up, and it's the harvest moon. I love the harvest moon. All right, it's coming up on Thursday. It is in Aries. So Aries is going to bring up a little bit of that passion and that fire. So don't get too caught up in it because what we do need to do and what it's asking us to do is really to step into our power, but we have to do it from within. So as we start to bring our energy in, we're able to highlight those parts of us that can then move forward. Rather than just be out there, no, we come in and we come up from above and bring in that inward energy out into the world so that august i mean that um, harvest moon august that harvest moon coming up on thursday is going to push us a little bit the energy is going to build as we get there but if you're doing your work if you're grounding your energy and releasing the drama you're going to notice that force of energy that's going to really help to empower you so let me know what it is for you right now what is it that is really creating that drama for you do you know what that is do you know how you can shift out of it and use the energy of the week for your highest good? Let me know. Comment below. Yes, you do or no, you don't. All right. Now, I'm talking a little bit about this week about quick fixes. Is there such a thing? What do you think? Do you think there's a quick fix for everything or for some things? you think you can use a quick fix to kind of jumpstart your energy? We're going to be talking about that tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. My guest is Monique Clark. She is going to be... Talking about that, I'm not going to give it away, what we're going to be talking about, but how quick fixes can actually work, all right? So join us tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show as we talk more about this and how you can really use these things to help move your energy forward. I'm not one to really get into quick fixes, but sometimes there are ways that we can find to help us kind of move the energy, unstick that stuck, right? Come into the center. And that's what we're going to be talking about on the Empowered Spirit show tomorrow. So be sure to tune in to that 12 o'clock central time. That's what our comments, I mean, that's what our focus is going to be tomorrow, especially as we continue that creativity in the spirit series. So just think about it for yourself right now. Take a moment, take a nice deep inhale and just notice where you are right now. Are you able to focus on the inside? Are you still caught on the outside? What do you need to do to bring that forward for you? That's the question I'm going to pose for you right now. I'd love to hear your comments below. All right, so I posted the cards, and many of you chose one, two, or three. So just take a moment as we move into this. I'm going to look at what the cards are. If you didn't choose one, go ahead, one, two, or three, all right? And then I have the fourth card that all of us will look at. So we're going to talk about them individually for what you chose, and then we'll pull it together. All right, so take a nice deep inhale. So we bring this energy forward. If you chose one, all right, one is the fool. Love it. We're working for the wild unknown. I love this. Look at that little chick. 
fresh, innocent energy. The little chick wants to fly. She really wants to, but can I fly? What will happen? Will I fall? Am I ready? All right, these are the questions that the fool asks us. And I always love when this card comes up because it reminds us to tune into that innocence of who we really are. All right, that fresh energy. What's going to happen if you take a step forward? This card reminds us to do that. Take that step forward. Know that you've got what you need. Sometimes that step isn't a really big step, but know that this is your journey. All right, you have what you need. Don't let others discourage you from taking the step forward into your own journey. This is what this card is reminding us to do right now. I love it. Look at the yellow up there. Look at the little chick on the on the limb, right? Really good. All right, so Brad, I see your comment about feeling like a fool today. This card isn't so much about feeling like a fool, all right? This is really more about embracing the innocence of your life and taking a chance. You can never be made a fool if you take a chance. You can never be made a fool if you're listening to your gut instinct. People may not agree with you, but if you know where your energy is, this is when we take that step. That's what this card is about. So for those of you that chose one, think about where you can return to the innocence, where you can trust your path, and take that step forward for you. I love the fool, all right? It's not necessarily about being foolish. All right, so if you chose, chose card number two, we've had this card before. I love it. It's the Daughter of Swords, all right? Look at that owl. She's sitting on that sword. She is very, very watchful. She's bringing in the energy all around her. Look at the little, the little dots up here. Lots of information coming forward for her. She's one that watches. When this card comes up, it reminds us to be really watchful. Look around. Notice what's going on. Notice how it comes into your life. You can learn so much from being quiet, right? The wisdom of the owl from watching. All right, so where is that for you? Now, the thing we need to be careful for sometimes when this card comes up is it getting a little bit too picky. Like when we observe way too much, we get into every single detail, and then we get a little judgmental, and then we get a little picky with ourselves and with others. So this is a good warning to remind yourself not to get too judgmental of others. It's good to be watchful, but be careful not to get too far into it that you're making judgments about yourself and others. Remind yourself to watch, to listen, deep listening, very important, and to see what comes forward. Take a step back. Release the judgment. When we judge others, we're really judging ourselves, right? So that was card number two. Now, if you chose card three, all right, this is the Ten of Swords. This is a very strange looking card. Look at all those cards sticking in through the eyes, through the head. All right, so this is to remind us that get out of the drama, right? This is to remind us about all that drama. So all that stuff we've been talking about, a perfect card for this. It's time to let that stuff go. Let the drama go. Release it out. It's done. It's finished. Tens are always about completion. So all that chatter of the mind, all that spinning of the wheels, all that listening to everybody else, cut it. It's done. Release the chatter of the mind. Let it go. Find a way that you can Get back into your meditation. Find some ways. Actually, we'll be talking about this tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. But what can you do to cut all that chatter? This is about excess stress. This is about too much anxiety, too much worry. Is that you? Comment below. Are you caught in all of that worry, 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 worry? All that does is build those levels of stress. And then we're running around at a higher level. No, we need to bring it back down. And that's part of getting out of the drama. Really important. All right, let it go. Clear the mind. Meditate. Find those tools that can help you to do that. All right, I'm seeing some yes, yes, yes. Yes, Trudy, no drama. Give me a hashtag, no drama. I so agree. Cut that stuff out. Yes. That's exactly what we're being asked to do. And I know many of us like that. I know I've been in that position too where, okay, I like the adrenal buzz. I like getting up there and this one and that one. But no, this isn't doing us any good right now. It's really not. It keeps us from hearing our own guidance, from being in touch with ourselves. Time to cut it out. All right, so now the universal anchor card for all of us is the five of pentacles, all right? So this card right here, it looks a little sad, all right? So the five of pentacles, fives are about change. Fives are about kind of moving around that harmony of four. We step it up a little bit. It can also be a little bit about victim consciousness. Lee, it looks a little sad, doesn't it? See the rose? It's crying. 
I love roses. They're high vibration, but this one's tilted over. And when that's happening, we look need to look a little bit about self-care. How can we get out of this energy? What can we open up to to help that rose turn right side up? So there is some more self-healing that is needed when this card comes up. So for all of us, using the lessons, that's the way I like to look at it. Gratitude for what shows up. Gratitude for some of the struggles that we have when we offer gratitude, right? Then we can actually thank it for showing up, thank that lesson for coming forward, and that's how we begin to heal. That's how we learn those lessons. So we can turn our vulnerabilities into strength. Really, that's what grit is all about. That's what success is all about when we turn it around, all right? And that's what we want to do. So as we go to put this whole reading together for all of us, no matter what card you drew, perhaps that's the emphasis for you but if we look at this energy where have you been in this energy of struggle all right where have you been in this energy of struggle and what is it for you all right is it something in your work is it something in your mind is it something in your love life where is that struggle for you and where can you begin to use the power of your own spirit to take that next next step to take those vulnerabilities and use them for your highest good. Again, this is your journey. You don't have to listen to everybody else. And maybe your choices are different than others. Empower yourself to do this. Empower yourself to fly, right? That's what this card will help you to do. And when you do that, you can release some of that sadness or some of that struggle or some of that hurt. All right? And then the daughter of the sword, she comes up to help us witness our lives. So if you can, instead of getting caught and all the judgments and all that that you've observed, pull back. Witness what you have going on. Witness what's going on. And that's going to help, again, to heal that part of you. Get out of the drama. Get out of the anxieties. Take a step back and just witness. Observe. That means pull yourself out of it as if you're looking down. Be that wise owl and look down on where you can turn around those struggles and use them for lessons. Hey, Tina. Hey, Ines. I see you guys coming in. All right. Which of these cards is really telling your story right now? All right. Now, the way that this next card, the third card, fits into this overall picture is that all of this drama is done, 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 done. Hashtag no drama, right, Trudy? Hashtag no drama. We're done with it. It's time to let it go. We have a whole new season we're moving into. We're harvesting what works. And that is really what's key, harvesting what works. So go back and look at your year. We're in the last quarter. What has worked for you? And when you can realize what's worked, that's what we do. We kind of wash it up, freshen it up, and we put it back out there again. And the things that didn't work, we let them go. We let them go. We don't need them anymore. We really do not need them anymore. And the sooner that you can get out of it, all right, the sooner that you can let that go and get out of that, yes, hashtag no drama, right, Tina? The better you're going to approach the year as we come forward into this last part. Harvesting your work is really important. And it's also important to see what's not working, to learn those lessons, offer gratitude, and just like that big old bonfire, burn it up. And that's what we're going to do in the meditation. We're going to burn that stuff up. All right? So if you're just joining... The universal card for all of us is that five of pentacles, which is really kind of moving out of that victim energy, moving out of the struggles. I know we've had a lot of struggles. There's been big, intense energy. I understand that ever since the eclipse, we're all been working through this. So we have to turn that around. Offer gratitude, all right? Gratitude for what it is in your life that's working and where you can turn this around. Use the vulnerabilities for your lessons. So empowering. You guys know this, right? Benet Brown's work, this is what she talks about. Use that for your power, all right? Take a chance, all right? This isn't foolish energy. This is gathering your strengths, gathering all your knowledge, and taking that fly, taking that leap, all right? You've got this, all right? That's what this card is about. Witness, listen. Be very acute, not too much that you're judging, but witness. I think that's the biggest message for right now. Witness what's working. Harvest your work. Yes, love that. Harvest your work and let that shit go. All right, let it go. It doesn't serve us anymore. This is how we bring it all together as we move into this week. All right, as I mentioned, we're going to start out the week pretty easy. Monday and Tuesday are going to be pretty easy, pretty nice. We're kind of jiving after the weekend. The weather's changing. We're starting to feel that. And then we're going to come into Thursday, full moon, full moon, harvest moon, beautiful moon. I always love this moon. Sometimes it always seems so big and yellow, right? 
and we're going to be in the sign of Aries. So Aries adds a little more passion, a little more fire, asking us to step up. So we've got that want to go in, want to go out. We've got a little bit of that confusion, but what we want to do is harvest that energy within come into the center of who you are and then open that up and that's where you step up into the work yes hashtag let that shit go right love the owl love this too yes tina i agree so this is the energy we're going to work with now let's just take a moment and let's do this meditation to help you let that shit go stuff go all right so wherever you are if you can take a nice deep inhale close your eyes Exhale, send that breath all the way down deep into the earth. And as you inhale, bring all that prana up through the legs into that first chakra, very important, opening all the way up through the crown. And as you exhale, bring it all the way back down, sending it all the way down deep into the earth. Inhale, open it up through the first chakra, all the way up through the body, up into the heavens, connecting with divine spirit, our masters, our teachers, the archangels, and our own spirit guides. We ask that they work with us and through us as we open up to the energy of October as we move through this work. Now, as you exhale, bring down that energy from the earth. We want to bring in about 80% from the heavens. And as you breathe up from the earth, bring up about 20%. Mix through that first chakra. Very important for the abundance in your life. Open that chakra up into the heavens. And as you exhale, bring it back down. About 80% down from the heavens. 20% back up. Mixing in that first chakra. Send it up. All right. Now I want you to pull that energy in. And as you do, let go of all that drama. Just imagine, pretend, visualize all of that drama all of that noise let it go send it away inhaling and with each exhale just imagine all of that drama that chatter of the mind let it go deep into the earth the more you ground your energy right now you can release it inhaling up and exhaling sending it all the way back down just feel it dropping away and as you do you come closer and closer to that source energy to your own inner guidance feel that strength and now just imagine pretend visualize any leftover energy that you don't seem to be rid of right this moment turn it a bright red a bright red all around all of that excess energy bright red as you continue that breath and we call in the higher guides to come in and clean it up transform it away Burn it away like the leaves that burn away. Let it go. Inhaling up into the heavens. And as you exhale, bring it back down. And let all that excess energy go. Bright red, fire, transform it. With each breath coming in, back to that source energy. Back to that inner guidance. Feel that connection with your own self right now. Pull it in. Get quiet. Exhale out and open up. Fresh prana up from the earth through the first chakra up into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull it back down through that first chakra deep into the earth. One more time. Inhaling. Open up. And exhale. Send it back down deep into the earth. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel that source energy pulling in. Open up. Open up with gratitude. October in the fall is all about gratitude and thanksgiving and harvest. Bringing the energy back. Taking a nice deep inhale. Coming back. Opening the eyes. All right, guys. Have a great week. Use these cards for inspiration, right? what you need to do this week to help you get out of that. Join me on the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow. We're going to be talking about jump-starting and quick fixes to help you turn your energy around. Yes, I believe in discipline. Yes, I believe in showing up each and every day. But sometimes we need something to help us get unstuck. So join us. My guest is Moni Clark from N8 Sense and Body Work out in California. All right? Stay empowered. Comment below. Share this with somebody else that needs a little grounding. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate everybody here. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Show. 
Have a great week. Thank you, Inus. Thank you, Tina. Yay, Tina from the Intuitive Women Group. Thank you, Trudy. Saw her drama people as cardboard cutouts and blew them and burned them up. I love it. Hashtag clairvoyance. I love it. Yes, thank you, Brett. All right, no foolishness. Just be innocent and strong in your energy. Thank you, Kendall. Much needed. Yay. Hashtag no drama. Hashtag let that shit go. Thank you, Amy, too, for joining me. You guys have a great week. Talk to you on air tomorrow, empoweredspiritshow.com. To your spirit, namaste.